Hi, my name's Kim Arnold and today I'm working with the Coco Vanilla These Days collection for Embellish It, my local scrapbooking store in Timaru. I'm just working through the different products. These are the die cuts, um, the floral and the normal die cuts that I've just put into a storage pack that I use. Wood buttons, clear stickers. This is the 6x12 sticker sheet. This is actually a uniquely creative template that I'm going to use or stencil that I'm going to use. A lovely picture of my niece, 6x8 paper pack, and they're the 6x8 papers I've chosen that I'm going to use. I've also cut apart the 12x12 cut apart sheet, which I have added into my die cut packet. So I've there's two, I'm using the collection pack and there's two of these 12 by 12 cut apart sheets in the collection pack and I have cut apart one and I've still got one intact at the moment. Um, I am using this background paper for this layout and it looks like it has watercolour and marks around the outside edge of the 12 by 12 sheet. So I didn't have to do um, a lot of mixed media in this background. I have just used the stencil. So that is a uniquely creative floral stencil. And I am putting through some Distress Oxide ink in speckled egg, which matches in really well with this collection from Coco Vanilla. Because the stencil's reasonably detailed, I did have to use my blending sponge and push through quite strongly to make sure that the design showed through the stencil cleanly. So I know where I'm going to put my photo on this layout and what I'm doing is just working the stencil so it will sit around under the photo. So it's only meant to be like an outline that will peep out around the edges of the photo. And then I'm going to create some various um, embellishment clusters which will layer over the stenciling. And that's the only mixed media I'm going to do on this layout. So I haven't used any gesso or anything like that. It's just pattern paper. Cocoa vanilla pattern paper is a good weight. Um, so it was fine. I'm backing the photo now with layers from the 6x8 paper pad. So I'm just cutting around those. I'm not being too particular because I'm going to distress the edges of each of these papers. I am not the straightest cutter with scissors in the world. And if I want a straight edge, I always cut with my paper trimmer. But when I'm just doing distressed edges, it works fine. Now, somewhere in my craft room, I've lost my Heidi Swap edge distressor and I cannot find it. And I know it's in my craft room because that's where I last used it. So I'm just using a pair of scissors, not my best fussy cutting scissors. I'm using just my standard cutting scissors and I'm distressing the edges of each of these layers that are going to sit behind the photo. Again, they were from the six by eight paper pad. So they're a smaller, finer print on this paper, which I think is really nice for background mats because the print is more detailed. So as I said, just distressing those edges and then I will use foam tape and wet glue in order to um, create dimension behind the photo with the foam, foam tape. So I, on this layout, I am using kids craft foam um, which is sticky on one side and then I use a wet adhesive on the other side. Unfortunately, some of these um, craft foams aren't very sticky, so I do use a wet glue to make sure that they're well attached. So some colours were super sticky and some colours weren't. So there's foam tape directly under the photo, just using um, wet glue, which is my art glitter glue between each of those layers then more glue on the foam tape and stick it down to the layers. Then I'm going to use craft foam again on the back. So there'll be two layers of craft foam and the three layers of paper all together under the photo, which as I said, just creates that dimension and pops that photo up off the layer. So that's approximately where I'm going to put it on the page. And you can see now that the stenciling work that I did will just peep out from around the edges of the photo, which I think is a really um, nice effect and enhances and brings your eye to the photo. And then I'm going to use 
a journaling card um, from the journaling card pack in the same shade of blue on the other side of the photo. So I think that that wraps it around and it's a really nice balance. The, the piece that I'm just adhering now, I actually cut that out of another journaling card. I really liked the blue again, which is that same shade of blue. And so I actually cut it from a journaling card um, to make it look like a die cut and then popped it up with some foam tape. So I have attached those and I'm just attaching the photo down now because I'm quite happy with that composition. And basically now I'm on to the embellishment stage of this layout. So there are some beautiful florals in the floral die cut pack. Um, it is a pack of just floral die cuts and then there's another pack of other die cuts. So very generous um, embellishment range in this collection. And so I'm just layering various floral elements around that die cut, which is actually also the title on this layout. And I'm using um, a mixture of foam tape and wet glue again, so that parts of the die cut sit up higher than others so you create a really dimensional layered effect with the die cut elements. So I'm putting um, flowers and some of the pretty leaves. So the leaves are like a charcoal gray outline, some of the leaves. So I've used those to the top and the bottom of that floral cluster. And I think that they're just really pretty with this range because the range, the collection is very soft and those charcoal gray outline leaves work so well. So this is just a little basket with more florals and a banner sticking there on the edge of the bottom edge of the photo. Little hearts, which again are from the die cut pack. A cute little butterfly also from the non floral die cut pack, which I'm just going to stick in there. I just put some foam tape behind the center of the butterfly and like fold it up a bit on the wings and then just stick down the center part. Um, I put the foam tape on there in order to lift it up high enough to work with the other elements which are up on foam tape because otherwise it would have sat too low. And now I'm working on the right side of the photo and doing very similar there with the various die cut elements, so leaves and flowers. And I've also used one of the super cute little wooden buttons, uh, which all have like either an icon or a word inside them. They are also very cute. Um, and I have used two of those on this layout when I finish it. Um, so again, just layering up foam tape, um, craft glue to get that dimension into this cluster on the right hand side. So the flowers I have inserted below the photo and above the photo, as well as with foam tape next to the photo. So there's three different layers in those floral um, clusters. I'm just looking through the various die cuts now and auditioning butterfly colors. There's a few different butterflies in the die cuts. You can see just to the right of my layout there that I keep the sheet of all the different die cut designs so I can see what my options are. Then I just hunt through the pack looking for what I want to use. And at this stage, I'm looking for butterflies. So auditioning the yellow one there and then auditioning blue. And I've decided on the blue. Now for this what butterfly, I didn't put foam tape under it because I didn't need to lift it up higher and I just put a little bit of wet glue in the center of the body to um, attach just the body and leave the wings free. The, at the top there, I've just put a tab. Um, it's got a word on it, which is um, in a nice green color. And I've just stuck that up the top of the photo. That's when it can be good to be rustling through your die cut pack and see what else takes your fancy. That was an off cut piece of paper. And I was wondering if I was going to use it as part of the stack of papers underneath the photo, but I decided no. I'm now going to create a cluster at the top right corner or just off the right corner um, to balance out the layout. So I'm using again foam tape. I've got 
some parts that I've cut apart from the 12 by 12 cut apart sheet as well as some of the die cut elements. So these little flag shapes are from the 12 by 12 sheet and I think actually that the suite is as well and the phrase that I'm going to use. I think they're all from the 12 by 12 cut apart sheet and then I've also used a flower, another little wood button Again, popping things up. So with this flower, I'm adding foam underneath the leaves, but I will stick down the actual flower part directly with wet glue. So it starts flat and then lifts up. So it's flat underneath where I've sort of put it underneath the phrase sticker. And then the leaves come up. So that means it works well in the cluster. Checking now to make everything sure everything looks balanced. Again, I forgot to cut off the um, marketing strip and the layout's two-dimensional for me to cut it the way I would normally cut it. So I had to very carefully cut it in my trimmer the other way. Again, I do remind myself that I should cut that off before I get started. So I've just pulled out now the 6x12 sticker sheet and the clear stickers. And I believe I'm also going to use some puffy stickers and I'm just going to stick some of these down to finish the layout off. So these are the puffy stickers I've got now. And I'm just grabbing some of those. There's some absolutely sweet little hearts in this pack. And some gorgeous little flower florals. Flower florals. Flower puffy stickers. Really cute. And a butterfly up in that top cluster. But the hearts are tiny and they are super duper sweet. And then I believe I'm looking at some of the 6x12 stickers and I'm going to put some of the phrases in that bottom left corner of the photo. I love word phrases and my favourite things that I use on layers on layouts are words. And so word stickers are always a favourite when they're in a collection. And then these are just some of the clear stickers, which I am using just for some final touches. Added some flowers, heart, um, and I believe that is done. So final touch is a little bit of gold splashes of ink. So this is um, Heidi Swap Color Shine ink but you can use any gold ink or watered down gold acrylic paint just a few splatters of that around just to finish it off and I have a space for journaling at the top of the card which I will add um, off camera you'll see my journaling in the still shots which are coming now so thank you very much for joining me today again this was a cocoa vanilla these days collection these days layout for embellish it my local scrapbooking shop in Timaru, New Zealand. I will put a link to the shop below. This, um, a little bit of video showing the dimension of the layout, some of the gold sparkles. And you can really see the dimension here as I move the layout to the side. Thank you so much again for joining me. And um, I'd love it if you subscribe to my channel. And if you enjoyed this video, please press like below. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Thank you very much.